Morning everyone. Today I'll be setting the valve lash. This is a 2007.5. So this is the first year, first month of the 6.7. So if your engine looks slightly different, especially in the cooler and some of the later models have a rocker on the cooler, stuff like that, um, it's expected. And this procedure will work exactly the same on a 5.9. Of course the first step in the procedure is to remove the valve cover. On a 6.7 it's actually a two-step process. Um, what you'll notice there's eight bolts that hold on the upper valve cover. So what this part actually is, this is a cleaner so that when the gases pass by the pistons it goes down into the crankcase. It sneaks up through to the top and if this wasn't actually here you could actually have oil injected into your turbo on a 6.7. So this is something that's necessary. You can't, you can't put it together without the inner piece in it. And it does have an inner piece right there, as you can see. Um, so your first task is to remove the eight bolts that hold this down. Um, these are all 5 16 bolts. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get them out. I just used a quarter inch with the extension in the front and in the back. And there's just barely enough room if you're using a quarter inch extension to get the back ones out with the, with the extension. So we'll just remove this and that can be left connected. Second part we're going to remove, you can't see right this second, but uh, is this. As you can see it's dripping with oil so it's ow, properly doing its job. The engine's still warm, which is the recommended temperature for this job. Uh, now this one looks actually um, this one actually looks pretty clean, so I don't think I'm going to clean it this time. Last time I just shot it to death with brake parts cleaner, but it looks like it's pretty clean, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, and then we move on to, if you look in here, we're going to move on. So here we are, we got the piece removed, we got the top of it removed, now we're looking at the valve cover. As you can see with the 5.9 there are still six 10 millimeter bolts. You're going to need a wrench to get to the back ones. Uh, the best kind of wrench for this job is obviously a geared wrench. But if you're looking in the back there you see the two last ones. Those are the biggest pain. Two middle, two front are easy. So once you have all the bolts out this should lift up pretty easily. Make sure it's not connected again to the valve cover gasket that's got the wires in it. There'll be a couple of things you have to disconnect up here. One of them is this pressure sensor up on top. This vent and then the second vent. So there we go. With an extra step or two in there, we have the valve cover off of a 6.7.